What does it take to be a good soldier of the Lord? It takes dedication, courage, integrity, a vision. Without a vision, God's people perish without a lack of a vision because people, you know, they just go through the motions. But when you get a vision that this is real and I'm walking up before a just and a merciful God every day of my life, and what does he want me to do? Finding the perfect will of Almighty God in your life. Amen. Oh, then you'll see a change. I'm telling you, it takes respect. I respect the Lord thy God to do his service, to do what he wants me to do. I, I moved away from that spot. Not my will be done, but thy will be done. You know, you, you won't think about self anymore. You won't be self-centered. You won't be thinking, well, what I want to do, what this, what this. You'll be saying, God. I want to do your will. Amen. Thank God. How do we know the will of God? How does people know? It's right here in this book. His word is his will and his will is his word. Amen. I thank God. If you want to be a soldier in the army of the Lord, it takes duty, it takes honor, patience, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, ability. He'll make you an overcomer today. Thank God. This is so real today. And a lot of people just got a dab a do. Just a dab a do. Sing a song. Go home. Shake hands. Fellowship. That's it. This is a personal relationship with the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. It's not just a Sunday relationship or a Wednesday. He wants full custody of you. Praise God. If you're his child, he just don't want you on the weekends. He wants full custody. Today. Thank God. Ah, he's looking for somebody that's reliable. I can count on you. Amen. He's looking for somebody that's got faith, that's steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the Word of God. That's what it takes today, praise God. This is just a little something to open your eyes this morning, to make you realize that how real this is. He's looking for somebody that's willing to stand and able to stand because they know how to stand, because they've studied His Word to find out how to stand. You know, a lot of people, double-minded, that, that's unfaithfulness. When you're wishy war she like a sea like the the ship on the sea tossed to and fro with every whim and every doctrine like brother kim was talking about it, that might sound good to you but if it don't line up with the word of god it ain't no good and it's just no good but if it lines up with god's word it's good amen is this making sense this morning to serve him with a whole heart that's what it's going to have to take a lot of people just serving lip service or we just clap our hands and go through the motions and feel good and want a good song that we can pat our foot to or run down the aisle to. I've got something that makes me get excited and to shout and to praise God. Revelation through God's Word, His Holy Ghost, His Spirit, when it abides within you and He's giving you spiritual truth that's coming down from heaven, brother, it makes me have a spell. Amen? And I thank God for it. I got, some, I got the real thing today is what makes me excited it's what makes me happy praise God people say why are you always smiling and carrying on and and just jolly and happy all the time I got something on the inside that comes to the outside <laughs> a good soldier I'm gonna say this and sister Brenda's gonna come sing a good soldier knows he always needs to stay at Bible boot camp to learn something, to be trained, to be shown. Get back to Bible boot camp, praise God. Teach me something. Instruct me. Show me the Word of God. Amen. Uh, don't have to take nobody's word for it. Get into God's Word for it. Is that right? Bible boot camp. I like that. We need to study to show ourselves approved. Amen. That's just what the Lord's laid on my heart today. But I thank God it takes faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. 